Hey guys, we're going around town today to try to get some necessities that we need. First necessity is some coffee from Duncan. Coffee. <laughs> and then we're gonna go try to find some toilet paper because we have we have nine rolls left, but we're not finding it anywhere. So I would like just to get a couple, like just a, a package, you know, just to stay ahead of the game. What size do you want? You want to do large today? Can I get two large hot coffees with cream only? Okay. Thank you. Five fifty four. Yesterday was so nice. Me and Harvey went for a walk. We played outside. Now it's cold and rainy and 40 degrees. He's like, don't remind me because he had to work. My husband's right here. You can't see him, but. Harvey wanted to go on a bike route, but I couldn't leave, you know, Aiden at home with Joy because Aiden had to do e-learning and Harvey was done. Joy had to do school too, so. Next time it's warm and you're home, we gotta take Harvey on a bike ride because he really wants to go. I noticed so many people were in a hurry yesterday when I went out to get the kids some food. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, what are you in a hurry for? <laughs> Where do you have to be? You're like, Thank you. Sure. Thanks. I just asked for a receipt because I wasn't sure if you had like a free coffee or anything. Left. Right. I mean left, left. Oh. So easy to go left now. Nobody's yeah. out. All right, that guy's smoking a cigarette. He wants another way to possibly die. All right. Put it right there. Oh. That's going to be lotion. No, I just had it there yesterday because there was nothing in there. Um, the show I watched, the GT Paranormal. You know that or G Team Paranormal? You know, so that show I watched with that girl, Patty. Mm -hmm. She was saying how like she's even scared to go out. Because like if you get into an accident, where are you gonna be? You're gonna go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So I'm like I'm so extra careful when I go out, but you know what other people are gonna do. So we're gonna try Home Depot and Menards. We also need to remember I didn't put it on the list, but um soap to refill the soap dispenser. Mm -hmm. He went to Strax this morning and got milk and lunch meat. And our bread's finally in stock, Healthy Life. And you got eggs? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. Stuff was on the book from the fridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I sat down last night on the couch with Joy and the boys and I was like, but tell me what you want. Of course, Aiden, you know doesn't want anything but then when he got to the kitchen there's nothing he's like uh <laughs> so well if we end up at Myers which we probably will because I want to get some fruit and they have really good fruit they had fruit last time but we left because they didn't have every they didn't have the bread we wanted so we're like let's try somewhere else and then I regret it later because we went somewhere else the fruit was like really bad So, but Aiden like really likes Jack's Pizza, the pizza fry one. And I think he is having a trouble with milk because he had cereal yesterday and then he was in the bathroom all day yesterday. So no more, well, I told him, I was like, you've been doing really good the past couple days. So if you have cereal tonight and then all of a sudden you're on the toilet again, then the you, know what, you know what the answer is. But then he's allergic to almonds. I mean, he's allergic to walnuts and peanuts. So it's not like we can get him almond milk. Yeah. You know, so now we have to like, when we're at the store today, we gotta try to find an alternative to milk that doesn't have 
lactose or nuts in it or tree nuts because I can't think of any cereals that have milk in it it's all like oats yeah. and he's fine with oatmeal as far as I know I'm trying to do like elimination thing with him all right, well, we have a ways to go till we get to um, Menards or Home Depot or anything. So I'm gonna let you guys go, but keep in contact with you. Let me know in the comments how you're doing below. You know, are you able to find everything you need? I know my friend in uh, Port Charlotte, Florida area, she can't find meat. She can't find like chicken or she's been going to like the Walmart in her area and she can't find, you know, just simple things like meat and stuff along with, you know, everything else that no one can find like bread and of paper and things like that so I think I told her maybe you should go to Orlando but that's like I think she said it was five hours to get oh. for, like, I can't remember because I haven't lived there for I told her to go to a bigger city like Tampa or um you know something like that because Fort Myers is kind of you know a small town oh. or maybe in Fort Myers I don't know but she's just having really bad luck but when we go to our stores there's lots of meat yeah. you know so I don't know what's going on in Port Charlotte but um, hopefully it gets better. So if you live around the Port Charlotte area, let me know if you're having trouble too, so I can help my friend, like maybe send her somewhere else. I wonder if she's not going to Publix. Cause I remember there being a Publix there. Maybe, maybe she's just, maybe she's so used to her routine. She just keeps going to Walmart, you know what I mean? So that's what we're trying to do today. Break our routine, go somewhere else. Walmart today by, um, Walmart today, is it everywhere or just near us? It's gonna start rolling out all over the place, but 20 people out in the store no, at a time? No, they're gonna eliminate, they're gonna limit how many based on the size of the store. Oh, okay. So once they hit that capacity, they're not gonna leave anybody else in until somebody leaves. So let's say the capacity is 100, that's it. And then they're gonna do one it's ways. Like 10, it's like 10, I think it's 10 people per thousand square feet of store. Oh, okay. They do, they do the math to how many. And then, some and, stores are bigger than others. Okay. And then there's going to be a one way down the aisles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Alright, guys, we are at Home Depot trying to get some TP for our bong holes. Car behind us. Oh, shit. <laughs> People behind us trying to get toilet paper. We have to be fast. used to be all cleaning supplies. Now it's gone. On the other aisle? Okay. I don't think we're gonna find toilet paper. I love this song. All right, we got a fridge filter. So even if we run out of bottled water, we have filtered water. Well, I didn't come in for ours yet, did you? No, we oh. just have it as, no. We, oh, I just want to get another one. Just so we have a backup. All right, so we got our fridge filter and now going to Menards. I need to drink my coffee. I haven't drank it yet. I walked all over Home Depot with it and take one sip. <laughs> I was so surprised how many people asked me if I needed help. Oh, yeah, the lady good. at the door. Then you went down that one aisle and I was going to meet you. And then the guy on the floor asked me if I needed any help. And then I passed him and his friend was like right there. Like they could have had a conversation. He's like, can I help you with anything? Like after the guy already asked me if I needed help with anything. <laughs> and then you and I went to get the filter and the lady in that section's like, can I help you with anything? You think they'd be trying to avoid customers? Get you out of there. Quick as you can. Oh, maybe that's it, but I was just really surprised. Home Depot's cleaning section. Okay. I can't believe it. Like, there used to be tons of tie, tons of cleaning supplies, tons of toilet paper. Yeah, but Laundry I mean, I have a strong memory because we're always at Home Depot. 
Oh, which way do I go? Left. I have a very strong memory of Home Depot because we like basically, you know, lived in there for a long time when you're building your train layout. I would get some cleaning supplies and it's so different. <sighs> just wish I'd known people were gonna be hoarding all this toilet paper. Like I don't, I'm not out and about to try to hoard toilet paper, but I just have to get like another package so that, you know, yeah, cause then where are we gonna go? Like now we're spending our whole day looking for toilet paper. I never thought in a million years, like you and I would go out for a day while Joy watches our kids to try to find toilet paper. They were up so late, they're still sleeping. Like everyone's schedules, except for his, because he's still working, is like insane. We are open, oh, Pepe's. Like we we have um, a really good friend that works for the New York. What are they called there? They call it the transit or the rail or what are they call it? MTA. The MTA, Metra Transportation, huh? Yeah, Metropolitan. Metropolitan Transit. Like so many, every every day I go on to his Facebook and somebody there is dying. And some like horrible person lit the train, a train car on fire and killed a man. He has kids and everything. And then there was other people in the train, but they got off, right? Yeah. They're still looking for the person as far as I know. Seriously, like we're going through all this trouble and all, we're going through this like horrible time and somebody thinks, oh, let me go light a, a train on fire. <laughs> and he lit some other things around New York on fire too, right? Arsons, yeah. That's horrible. So here he is going to work even though he could possibly get the coronavirus and bring it home to his kids. And, and instead someone murders him. I guess he did get off the train. He was like walking through the tracks, but the smoke was just too much. So he almost, almost got out. I don't understand people at all. I was doing really well with the whole thing, everything going on, but the last like three days I can't sleep. I just like, keep thinking, keep thinking. How you feeling, babe? He's essential, so he has to go to work every day. Luckily, he doesn't work like on the trains in Chicago anymore. He works in an office. But, I mean, you, I mean, you still possibly, you know, could get it from a coworker. But at least it's not like back in the day when you were on the buses and you were on the trains. Cause, yeah, because this guy, um, he was complaining that somebody coughed on him in Detroit. Detroit. Oh, let me fix it. And. Um, this guy was, you know, complaining that somebody coughed on him in Detroit on a bus, and um, he actually ended up dying because the person that did cough on him had the virus and um, had the V word. Because that you can't say, you know, you can't say the whole word on YouTube. They'll like take your video down. Oh really? Yeah. The, um, the lady that I watched the, the, to talk to her about, it. she's really good if you guys like paranormal, the GT and paranormal, um, she went live the other day. Remember I was watching it on the couch with you? Yeah. And she was gonna talk to, you know, use EVP to talk to spirits to see if they can answer any questions about, you know, what's going on. And um, she, spe you know, said specifically, you know, can you guys tell us what's going on with the C word? You know, and, um, YouTube just like cut her live off. She just was gone. And I didn't know what happened because like she, she obviously wasn't ready to go. And then she explained in the next day's live because she didn't know what happened. She couldn't like get on. YouTube wouldn't let her go live again. It was like a whole big thing. So there's that. So now he's dead. They can at least put those cough guards up, right? I mean, those guards for, you know, like when you're, you're used to driving bad neighborhoods and they used to have this swing around thing. They've got them. Here on the bus is recycled. So. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. For people who start wearing the masks, I mean, if I was a bus driver, I would wear a mask. 
I mean, they're yeah, annoying, I but. Them. I can't find them either. Ugh. Out there like I think like if you on Amazon it says they will only send stuff to people like like hospitals and people that are dealing with the virus I would think that bus drivers and you know things like that would be you know a priority too yeah, mm -hmm. well I didn't think about the recycled area yeah that's us. basically you're screwed what's Amtrak doing are they still running? Yeah, there's nobody. There's, there's not many people riding. Chris said. Oh, okay. It's like we have a, we have friends that work in like every facet of everything. Do we know anyone who works for Metro though? We know a Metro police officer. But I don't know anybody on the Metro. Those trains are empty too, and they're doing the reduced schedule. CTA is the only one running. Full trying to run full service. <sighs> I usually buy stuff to last about 30 days, and I just noticed yesterday our pantry starting to look a little empty. It's there's still a lot of food in there, but compared to like how I always try to keep it stocked, like you can tell there's a difference, you know now. Yeah. And then the freezer downstairs, there's still quite a bit in that. I don't have any meat. Like I don't have any chicken. I don't have any beef. Like I, I, I don't like to like really freeze meat that often. Around the clock is dead. I miss your lemon soup. Mm. That's something I could make. That's really good. All right, well, I'll let you guys know if we have any luck at Menards. All right, we're here. Let's see if we can get some. I see a lot of people walking around with toilet paper in our carts, but we don't know if there's gonna be any when we get over there. So, so they have Lysol too? Uh, All right, let's see what we can do. All right guys, we left Menards, no such luck. So many people had their carts filled with toilet paper, but I guess we came just a few minutes too late. People had more than one in their carts. So I guess there's like a limit of two at Menards. So everybody that we saw had two. I wish they had a limit of one because this toilet paper, there was a lot in there, right? 48 rolls. 48 rolls. So these people are walking out with almost 100 rolls of toilet paper. So I don't know if we would have gotten any if everybody had one in their cart, but I think our chances would have been better. So now we're going to go to Big Lots and then maybe another place and then I just surrender. Don't know what to do. We still have 12 rolls at home, but hopefully we don't run out. This way, right? So, um, I doubt Big Lots is gonna have anything. Like, I just feel like so depressed, like even bothering, because at this point I feel like we're not gonna have any luck no matter where we go. Next time we gotta start off, like right when they open. It is 11.30. Like, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to have to do that your next day off. Friday. Yeah, we'll do that Friday. We'll go to Menards first and then we'll go to okay. Oven Grinder. Yeah. All right, let's go to Big Lots, but I don't really have high hopes. All right, so no look at Big Lots, but at Big Lots we did get a big box of donut shop coffee. And which we've had before, it's really good. And a little bottle of uh, soft soap to refill the bottle we have at home. It's like warm coconut smell or something. And then three bags of Flaming Hot Cheetos because you have to buy three for them to be two bucks each. And I want to make um, Flaming Hot Cheeto mozzarella sticks on my channel. Wow, that's the line. What? <laughs> it's the drive through line for. Maybe the curse? No. I mean, the thing? What is that for? Are they doing testing? No. Because there's urgent care right there. Oh, maybe that's, yeah. Maybe. So I think that's what that is. Uh, uh, like Alright, um, left here? No, next one. Okay. So, and then a bag of Funyuns. 
because those are low points in Weight Watchers. So now we are going to Myers, and this is basically our last stop. Like we surrender after this. So we're gonna see if they have toilet paper and get some groceries, and then and then I'm gonna film a mukbang with Joy for Arby's when we get home, and then that's basically the that's basically it for trying the toilet paper hunting. Hey guys, we just left Myers. No luck with toilet paper today, so we'll try again another day. We just got some cereal, and some pasta, some pasta sauce some fruit the lettuce is looking really bad I don't know, everywhere i go lately the lettuce looks like crap like i really want a salad but i can't find a good head of lettuce anywhere and then we got aiden some karma milk it's made with flax seeds i tried it a while ago and i liked it so try that and see if he likes it instead of milk and then we got like 200 dollars in groceries but i can't remember what we got we got some soft, we got some soap, hand soap. We got some paper towels so I can make baby wipes if I have to. You know what? They're not going to be flushable still. Yeah. I didn't even think that through. <laughs> yeah, never mind. That doesn't matter then. I guess we just have a lot of paper towels. I didn't think about that. Because I was like, I, I saw you can make handmade baby wipes. And I was thinking in my head, like, I can make my own flushable wipes. But yeah, they're not going to be flushable. And baby wipes aren't hard to find. So that was pointless. That's okay. And then we got some saran wrap. And then just random stuff. Nothing I don't think too exciting. Just got some stuff. Now we're heading to Arby's to get some food. And then I'll do a mukbang and a separate video with Joy. And then I got to go to Strax and find some good thins, corn chips. And Joy wants some ice cream. So I figured we'd do that last. And then, I can't think, yeah, we just got some groceries, some goldfish, you know, nothing too exciting. I didn't get any meat. Oh no, I got some, I got some breakfast sausage because Harvey's like in a, a sausage mood right now. He like really likes breakfast sausage. And then we got some cheeses. So. All right. Let me know if you found toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We are so close at Menards. I'm like, no. All right, bye guys. So I just put the debit card in the cup? Yep. That's not no contact. <laughs> well, I guess I just... Okay. There you go. Oh, send or what? Yeah, send. Uh-uh. Sauce too. Uh, Is it possible to get Arby's sauce? Thank you. It's like an old school Arby's. Can you see me? Yeah. It's hard to see the thing when it comes to like a blow the door. Oh, yeah. Let me, I'll film it. See what happens. It's so crazy. So we have to like get out and get it because I can't. Here, take the phone because I'm short. Is this everything? I'm guessing so. You got your card? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah. So that Arby's is pretty cool. Alright, now just to get home and make a video and relax.